All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk with him, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another video. This is an article that came out some days ago. I knew, uh, known about it for a minute, but now another article, you know, came out to back <clears throat> to back it up. You know, this is going to be dealing with uh, basically in this world masculinity is uh being attacked and stripped away from the average men so us brothers now in this truth we have to make sure that we're basically you have to be aware of your masculinity all right and practicing it and make sure that uh you know you're not letting esau take it away from you because this dude is attacking uh the truth all right he's uh men all right uh uh just anything that's right all right so now you have here this girl latita Wright from the black panther movie all right i'm going to show you how this ties in she did a she had re-uploaded a clip and i believe they deleted it all right but it says embroiled in anti-vax anti-trans controversy it says black panther star latita Wright has found herself in the middle of a controversy after sharing an anti-vaccination video with an anti-trans comments and actually she deleted all of her social media accounts uh, dealing with all of this so they silenced her and, and shamed her so bad she didn't even want to deal with it you know so for all we know we may not see her anymore and she, she was in that Black Panther movie I believe she was the little sister I still ain't watched that shit and I have no intentions of watching that shit because we're not Africans we're not Hamites I don't even feel like watching that bullshit alright so we're going to read down a little bit it says Black Panther star Latuta Wright is embroiled. Okay, blah, blah, blah. It's just repeating. It says uh, in a now deleted tweet, Wright originally shared a video on her Twitter account titled C19 Vaccine. Should we take it? Wright's Twitter followers quickly responded with negative comments against the anti vax stance, with some users also pointing out the video, pointing out the video host's transphobic views. So, not only were they scoffing her saying that uh you know why would you be telling us not to get that jab this guy and i'm not gonna play it because i don't want them to snatch it apparently he doesn't like gender benders all right and so now they're they're doubling down on her right hey, in this world esau he's getting it he's getting he's worked everyone's minds to such a uh excellent degree to where if you don't agree with everything that comes out in the media all right with the with the with the norm then you will be demonized by society all right so when they come out with this mark of the beast those who don't take it hey you know some of us are going to be persecuted y'all as actually as a matter of fact we'll get a scripture to to open her up these people completely do whatever the hell you saw Edom the so-called white man tells them to do all right matter of fact let me uh <clears throat> all right second edges 16 and 68 it says for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols it says and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot so those of our people that give in you know uh, that that conform and consent to taking the mark to taking that jab to worshiping the beast in his image eventually they're going to be uh, had in derision they're going to be destroyed all right hey, by the those that take the mark by the missiles all right and the wicked of our people that conform in general all right how shy the elect all right the angels are going to get to have some fun at them and even esau Edom himself them troopers going to turn their guns on them all right so now verse 70 says for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the lord so, you know, us, Lord willing, hey, some of us are going to lose our lives as a testimony to this truth. It says those that fear the Lord, they're going to be killing f those that are faithful to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because they don't want to conform. And they're already, they're, it's at the point now, if you say anything that isn't with mainstream media, you're already looked at as a deviant. So when shit pops out here, you're going to have not only the military, you know, uh, uh, the New World Order troopers coming for you, but you might have your own neighbors. 
Oh, so and so, man, I seen that motherfucker with a garment. And then I'm gonna, you, your neighbors, some of your family members. All right. So let's look at some more of these comments. It says Latita Wright doubles down on the uh, on the uh, the Rona anti-vax bozo stuff. Then likes a tweet calling for the end of a franchise that was about to put her front and center. Never dull moment in showbiz. So she started yeah so she started biting the hand that fed her she started going up against uh hollywood she's saying man this is some bs she said i'm not taking that shot and f all you people and so they made sure they destroyed her career you know just that quick all right coming down it says right then responded by liking tweets demanding marvel studios cancel black panther 2 all right and, and she's within her rights the dude the main actor just died for the movie you know leave this shit alone it's done and over with but hollywood wants to make that money so they'll throw in a digital clone of him or just hire some new nigga to keep it going and she she said she's straight she don't want no parts of that all right here it is you know one another f- series the fast and furious series the the dude that made that was paul walker but they still trying to man fast and furious ain't been shit since that nigga died all right they need to leave that shit alone but you saw cares about that money so he's not going to says or uh says and or recast her role for shuri though it is unknown if these likes were in jest after deleting her tweet containing the controversial video right responded if you don't conform to popular opinions but ask questions and think for yourself you get canceled with a crying laughing emoji all right and that's the truth and she's then she should she may wake up we'll see you know but she herself just announced it if you don't conform to the norm you get ostracized and this fuck nigga right here i'm gonna keep reading says her avengers infinity war and avengers endgame co-star don Cheadle, this bitch ass nigga it says then join the discussion by retweeting rights cancel statement with by latita leading many people to falsely believe that marvel studios was in the process of removing right from the black panther sequel so this fuck faggot nigga all right he gonna say bye to her so this he's supposed to be a man he's supposed to be manly but he's demasculated he's a whole he's a woman he's saying bye to her all right man so hey this place y'all this fucker dude don cheeto he gonna say bye latita like a little woman you know absolutely man this place is so something else you know so that's really it i wanted to get for this article now the next one We're going to come over here to Candace Owens. And this bitch is wicked as all hell. But even she made a statement that was... You know, even sometimes wicked people say something that can be a little bit on point. Alright, this uh, MSNBC says, Candace Owens mocks Harry Styles for wearing a dress. So they say, did you forget about Jesus? Alright, and so it says, contrary to what Candace Owens says, Harry Styles joins a legacy of historically manly men who famously wore dresses. So now what they're trying to tell you is that it's okay to wear a dress. You can have a purse. You can have lip gloss. All right. You can have faggoty earrings. All right. Uh, you know, a feminine earring because you do have, you know, righteous earrings, but you can wear a feminine earrings and hairstyles and whatnot. And they go to point out who they said our Lord. You know, they say Jesus here, but so now they said our Lord was wearing dresses, y'all. But he was still a manly man. You know, this this is where this shit is going now it says just a few of the iconic men who prove masculinity is more than wearing a pair of pants you know completely bugged out all right so let's get the statement that she actually said i want to scroll down to it she's basically a politician you know a little uh, she's married to edomite though so she's uh, uh so uh, let me see uh, she's married to edomite so she's full of shit too right here now this is now this bitch okay look she is married to an edomite she's a politician she's completely induced in the system but even she knows that this is enough now this harry styles dude i guess he's a famous singer or whatever but look at what he's out there sporting y'all looking like a white woman out there a dress on shit all open looking like the the boss of a puzzle game you know the last boss you know the riddler and shit all right it says candace owens it says there is no society that can survive without strong men. It says the East knows this. Ooh, what is she talking about? In the Middle East, dealing with them Ishmaelites. And that's a, and hey, look, you got to get at to Ishmael. They're still halfway holding it down over there. You want to shake that ass and twerk, you're going to get a brick to the brains, all right?
or, 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 or uh, you know, you're doing something out of bounds, you're going to get whipped before the whole congregation. That's, uh, that's Sharia law BS. All right. It says in the West, the steady, steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring back menly men. And that's a damn true statement, even out of a horse's mouth. Now, this is the, you know, this Vogue. It says there's so much joy to be had in playing with clothes. Psh, I never thought too much about what it means. It just becomes the extended part of creating something. This bullshit, you know. So she called everybody out. And then what do you see? The same thing that happened to the girl from Black Panther. Everyone starts getting on her head. All right. And so now let's let's read this. So now what this little faggy article went and did. It says, uh, man, they probably gonna, they gonna snatch this boy. I didn't say too many <laughs> effort. It says to clear up this confusion, to avoid this unfortunate misunderstanding about the fact that men have been rocking a diversity of clothing for centuries. I've made a non -ex exhaustive list of men who aren't known for wearing pants. Well, anywhere. So now they see number one, we got good old Caesar, you know, they said he wearing a dress. <laughs> And this picture goes back to being made in the 1930s, all right, when they kept they kept the whitewashing going. Our Lord wasn't wearing a dress, all right, we're going to get to what he was wearing and what righteous men were wearing, all right. Right here says, uh, says let's start with the classic manly man, that's right, the king of kings, Caesar. <laughs> says, according to historians, he wore a thin one-piece knee-length cloth tunic called a, a chitin was a common undergarment, you know, so they, he goes and gives, he don't even have a full understanding of it, you know, he doesn't even know where it is in the scriptures, now the Romans wore dresses, all right, but our Lord was not a Roman, all right, number two, he has Hercules, which is a, didn't even exist, what else we got, King Henry the Eighth. it looks like, now I don't know if he was a Jake or not, but those, hey, me, Personally, the clothes that the Europeans used to wear, uh, the European royalties, I wouldn't have been rocking the shit. The shit do look questionable, all right? So I hey, I wouldn't be caught rocking that type of shit, you know? Another one, another false being. This is from a movie, Gandalf, and he's not wearing a dress. He's wearing a robe, all right? Another one. Oh, wow, and she's not backing down. She said, don't tempt me, Frodo. Now, this is Elijah Wood, the guy who played, he co-starred with this guy in Lord of the Rings. He said, I think you've missed the definition of what a man is. Masculinity alone does not make a man. So she, this is a man telling her to allow us to be effeminate. And she says, don't, she says, F you. Frodo was the name of his character in his movie. All right. So this is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. You have men wanting to get in all women saying, stop telling us to be masculine. You know, this is where we're at now, society. And then it says judges. And once again, these aren't, man, this is where this is at. I guess a, a bitch named Liz Plank wrote this, y'all. This shit is through, y'all. This place is through, y'all. So let's get some scriptures. Matter of fact, actually, because we're going to, let's let's get what we wore, all right? You type in, gird up your loins. These are not dresses, all right? This is more of a style what men would have been wearing back then. You can go to war in this. You can kill it. You can break necks and decapitate fools in this. Men were not wearing dresses. All right. These are robes, tunics. All right. Garments like what we wear on Saturdays. Men were not wearing dresses. All right. This is just the feminization of of men, the demasculization of men. All right. And so now let's get some scriptures. Now, let's actually get what the Lord wore uh, right here out of John, actually. All right, this is John 19 and 23. It says, Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Yahweh Shai, took his garments and made four parts to every soldier a part, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. So it said he wore a coat, not a dress. He wore a coat over his garments. All right, but it says it was woven from top throughout. So it was one whole stitching. You know, it wasn't a separate zipper or a couple pieces of clothing. It was one whole slide on boy. All right, that would come down and it was probably long, you know, probably went down to the legs and then you could pull it up and tie it like how we see here in this picture. But it probably didn't have the, uh, it says it was a coat, so it probably covered his arms. All right, but it probably went down just as long. All right. 
And if, and if it was a coat, it most likely would have had a hood to it. It was woven uh, throughout that it's uh, it said. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's do garment. Let's see what we get. Okay, it just brings up uh, modern modern clothes. Let's do ancient. Let's do ancient garment. Let's see what we get. You know, okay, you know, this is a... Uh, that's that Roman shit. Let me see. Let's see. They're showing a... Okay. If you can see, maybe the one back to the left. All right. You know, even though this is dealing with a... This looks like uh, Egyptian art. You know, but okay, here we go. You know, this would have been more like it. All right, this ain't dresses. All right. This is garments. Now, the stuff up top, I'm not sure... Uh, who that is but the 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 one on the bottom right looks like what the levitical priest would have been wearing all right this is not dresses god damn it these people are out here you know this is this is royal look all right you had the freedom of moving within your legs and you could also tie it up all right you cannot equate what men wear to what women wear the heavenly father clearly made a difference all right and you know just it's just the fact that we're so used to seeing you know this type of style being clo uh, put as a, a dress, but there's actually manly versions of it. The version that this guy was wearing, let me take it back here. The version of it that this guy was wearing is the effeminate version of you know long clothing of garments. We're not supposed to wear the effeminate version. Men have their own manly versions of garments and you best believe our Lord Yahweh Shai was not wearing effeminate long garments. He was wearing masculine garments, all right? And there's probably certain colors that are associated. There's probably certain colors men just wouldn't wear. All right, so let's get that. Now, hey, so so now the people who want to do that now the the Bible says one thing, all right? And the, the God says one thing so if you don't want to abide by that then you have a problem with god all right straight up deuteronomy 22 and 5 it says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination unto the lord thy power so men have their own separate clothing and women have their own separate clothing all right our garments was separate from womanly garments so we're not supposed to be gender bender and mixing and candace owens was right for standing up and that other girl was right for standing up for being against that shot and for having a problem with the gender bender community but this place wants you to be a little sissy boy all right and we can't be that matter of fact i pulled this scripture uh just recently let me see let me see no let me see Show yourselves, man. That's Isaiah, I believe. I just pulled this scripture up in another video, but I gotta pull it back again. All right, hey, we, hey, we can't let these mfers drag us into that shit. You show up at the, to camp in a dress, you going home, dog. You, <laughs> you going home? All right, Isaiah forty six and eight. It says, "Remember this and show yourselves, men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors." So we have to show ourselves, men, y'all. Hey, you have to practice your masculinity. All right. Because we were raised up in this punk world, so you day hey, when you sitting day, hey, okay, hey, you know now they're when you sitting down, don't be sitting cross with your legs like a woman, you know your knee over the no men sit. I remember being taught how to sit like man. If you want to sit and cross your leg, you know you bring your your ankle up over your knee. All right, so you're not crushing, so you're not crushing the <laughs> the crown jewels. Let me see, let me see if I can get a picture. See, look at this. Don't this look questionable? How questionable that look, y'all? A man not supposed to sit like that, y'all. If you a man and you can sit like that, I don't know, all right? <laughs> I don't know. How questionable is that? Look at that. Look at that. That's not, no, all right? You know, you're not, you know, you're not a, <laughs> if you just happen to plop down, you know, uh, you know, your legs end up crossed. <laughs> you're not a two-third but men ain't supposed to be sitting like this this is how women sit because uh you know their private parts can be showing through their dress now that looks normal for a woman she has to protect her private parts but there's an actual let me see where's it at i just seen it in one of these pictures i remember being taught where is it at yep now this is a more manly position 
for a man. The ankle over the knee. This is what I was trying to describe. Your ankle over your knee. You got John Kennedy, you know. The ankle's up over the knee. That's how men posed, all right? Or supposed to pose. That that knee over knee shit or right here. That's the position of a, of a commander. That's how you'll be your, your boss. You come in, you was bullshitting at work. Your boss be like, look, nigga, this is the last time you got to fuck up. All right? Not that if I come in, your boss sitting like this, let's take it back. Right here. Your boss sitting like this, I'm be like, look, boss, I don't sway that way. <laughs> I don't sway that way. But this place is trying to strip that of us, y'all. So you have to remember, hey, look, uh, 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 you don't got to... Uh, you know, man, there's so many things I want to say. Basically, practice your masculinity, you know. Watch MGTOW videos if you need to. Men going their own way. Red pill stuff, all right? We are men, not women. So we don't have to conform to all of this BS, all right? Let me see. All right, now I'll end it on this. Uh, let's see. I thought... I thought I spelt it right. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Yep. First Corinthians 6 and 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high power. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. All right. And that covers both of that. All right. So nor effeminate. Hey, so we, hey, we have to be manly men. All right. What was that that uh, one show? Two and a half men, 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 menly men. The damn intro. All right. We got to be menly men. All right. And, and, and now, you know, being big and muscular or being able to knock a nigga out doesn't necessarily make you a manly man. That's not what I'm talking about. You know, just because you can hit 25 solid push-ups uh, isn't the basis for a manly man. Or you know, a it would be able to help if you could do 25. <laughs> it be is good for your health, but being a manly man starts in the mind. All right, being a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, being upright, being just. All right, being a good brother to the brethren, uh, being about your business in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, reading, studying, praying, fasting. That's what makes you truly a manly man in the eyes of heavenly, uh, in the eyes of the heavenly Father and His Son. All right, so those are the actions we're supposed to display. All right, so just a real quick. You know, video, i seen these couple articles, man, that shit pissed me off some foul. You know, so now this girl, she about to lose her career, all her shit. But, you know, hey, fuck her. You know, she sold out to Hollywood. Candace Owens ain't gonna go nowhere, but this girl probably gonna be through. You know, because this place is just so, just so defiled. You know, so I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakurash, the honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk with them, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity, and I'm going to say Shalom.